Hi, welcome to Hope Peridot TV. Breaking Ijegu pipeline explosion. NPC claim the situation is under control. And um, they said they have drafted a team of engineers to the scene to immediately fix the exploded pipeline. And um, it is reported that this explosion killed people. And this happened as a result of oil theft. The NNPC swiftly responded to this pipeline explosion that happened Thursday, July 4th, which was caused by vandals in Ijegu, Lagos State. The corporation said it has the explosion situation under control, which reportedly killed people and burnt many vehicles. The group managing director of NNPC, Makantu Barrow, has directed the corporation team of engineers to be at the scene and contain the situation. If you're just joining in, kindly take a moment to tap on that subscription button. And also the red notification icon bell so you will be the first to be notified whenever videos are uploaded for those who do not know where Ijegun is Ijegun is actually um, somewhere at outskirts of Lagos State um, this is the position of Ijegu here in Lagos um, this is a map of Nigeria this is the map of Nigeria and um, this is where Ijegun is this happened here this is where it actually happened I'm going to show you the video anyway and you see the flames and everything that happened. The NMPC engineers were asked to investigate the cause of the incident and begin the immediate repairs of the pipeline. Udu Ugabadu, the group general manager, group public affairs division, asked the Jegun community to be calm as repairs are being done. He said the fire was ignited when some vandals were scooping fuel from the pipeline. We heard people within the community to remain calm as the situation is under control our team of engineers has resumed um at the side to bring the situation under control now when we wonder why people will go through go to this length to actually get themselves in arms way um you just imagine the number of souls that are gone now and vehicles properties are raced down all because some group of people want to steal um, petrol and uh, and when you look at the amount of the quantity the liters of petrol that were actually that they stole it's it's nothing it's nothing so uh, i don't know uh, why these things happen and um soon people begin to complain of uh, fuel scarcity yes i know that uh, many people with biro and paper um actually still more of, more of this i mean they still the raw cash rather than the crude oil the processed crude oil they still raw cash and a lot of people have been given private um, um refineries and some of them are not returning money back to the government and even when you return to the mo um, government the money gets you know uh, missing again so it was gathered that the videos of the fire incident which went viral on social media showed how people try not to be caught up with the fire and the not to be caught up with the fire and the legal state emergency service uh, management agency lasema said two people have been confirmed dead and 30 vehicles burnt in the pipeline explosion here is the video of what actually happened so what do you think about this do you think um pipeline vandalization should be stopped or you think um these people are actually acting out of their own personal need and not greed uh, because I imagine how many people have died here and um, properties that have been lost imagine the cars have been burned they said over 30 cars have been bought and burnt down now if that was a taxi that's the livelihood of someone who knows what will happen to that family and then um, some might claim that um, this is done because there is no social uh, assistance from the government they are stealing the money so we have to bust the pipeline whatever it is that your story is what about the people that are going to die what about you yourself and also what what about the cars properties of people that have been burnt down is there any explanation is there any way that we can actually um you know paint this so we should say no to pipeline vandalization we know that the government most of them are criminals they steal money with their buyers and some of them have not been you know they've not gone to jail but then should we take laws into our own hands all because of our own personal needs i don't want to use the word greed should we take laws into our hands and put other people in harm's way that's what we should look at and consider whenever we are you know taking any action 
Now cars have been burned, people are dead. Let me show you the video once again. Now, even the people that are out there that I see there, it's still dangerous because um, it, it's not yet the, the fire, the, the flame, the explosion uh, is not yet contained as you can see the flames and um, what about properties that might be burnt down and these people there, imagine if there is another second explosion or the flame begins to like become uncontrollable it means those people those onlookers that are there might get themselves caught in between and um they, they, they will die so i think in the same um society immediately the firefighting squad and the rest of the police and all of that should be at that scene to 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 like cut off people from that place onlookers that is what i think should be done what do you think? Do you think they are managing this properly? Do you think Nigerians should be educated on how, where to, you know, when stuff like this happen, the kind of safe distance that you have to be? Because I can see people very close to that scene, close to that place there. Uh, I mean, this is dangerous in my own, that, that's my own opinion. This is dangerous for you to even be around that place, that vicinity at that time. So may I remind you guys to kindly take a moment to subscribe, um, tap on that um, red notification icon bell and also tap on the subscription button so you can be the first to be notified whenever videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping by.